Kicks 91.7, it's Emerson Drive and that kind of beautiful. 12 minutes after 8, Friday morning, we have special guests joining us in studio. Uh, Sudbury, born and raised. Connor LaRock, born and raised. Uh, born and raised, it's a pleasure to be raised. here. Connor LaRock, it's good to have you here. Uh, you are a published author. Your second book is uh, coming out any day now. Your first book was about a year and a half ago, you wrote About it? a year and a half, yeah. And that was called? Life is Motivation. All right, we're going to get to that in just, uh, just a couple of minutes. First of all, you are a life strategist. You are a public speaker. You are a, a motivational speaker, and you're a very young man. How old are you? I'm uh, only 22. <laughs> and you're a student, right? <laughs> I'm, a student. Right. I'm a student as well. Now, right. some might say that at 22, uh, what do you know about life strategy? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and you are a proponent of something called mindset psychology. Can you kind of briefly unpack that for us? What's that about? Uh, so it's a theory of design. It's called mindset psychology. And what it is, basically, is I, I have a number of theories like called battlefield mentality and the five pillars of fear. So... A lot of the time we kind of close our minds and we don't think we have enough, I guess, potential to do something. But when an incentive is high enough to do something, we'll find a way to do it. People tell me all the time, they're like, I, uh, I gave it everything I have. But then I'm like, well, if I give you $100 worth for another hour, could you do it? They're like, okay, yeah, I can do that. But before that, if I didn't offer the $100, they're like, no, that's it. That's all I have for the day. So basically what I teach is trying to unlock your mind. And there's a number of different techniques. A lot of us believe we have to be backed up against the wall. So they you know, unlock that power when realistically you can actually train yourself through constant repetition to get into that peak state of mind. And that's what mindset psychology is. Interesting. And so that's what you've, is that, I mean, and that's kind of what got you into doing this, like everything that you do up to this, because like you said, you're a very young man to, to do all this and to be out there and you have an, um, speaking engagements. Yeah, I've actually, um, I've spoke with over 2000 students in the last five months alone. Uh, so I've been in pretty much every high school throughout the city, um, I'm just a pusher. You know what? I'm relentless. I, I like to, I, I'm a talker too. I love to talk to people. And uh, I had a lot of different content. I'm very relatable, like in a number of different facets, whether it be sports, uh, education. I wasn't the best student in high school, we'll just say. And uh, as I grew out of that and I started to put, a diff or put some connections together, that's what led me to what I'm doing today. I'm um, just passionate about helping people, I guess you could say. And these are just these these are, are just kind of truths that became evident to you over time. Is this? I I, I guess the way to say theories? it is that. Or go ahead, sorry. Just these theories. They're, they're, where did they come from? You know what? I've I've read a lot of personal development material. Um, very passionate about psychology, like the back end of figuring out people. Mm -hmm. um, and then I watched a lot of my brother growing up and all of his friends. So I was living through a lot of their eyes. So I, I was watching the connections they're making, and um, it kind of tied into my own stuff. So uh, the more you start to write, all of a sudden, the more you see, oh, this makes sense. And then you start to see patterns within people. Oh, okay. And I'm like, yep. oh, there we go. We were making the same mistakes. So me and someone right, else, right? right, right? Yeah. So. Wow. Okay. That's very cool. Okay. So let's go to your books now. Your first book was called Life is Motivation. That's correct. Yeah. Right. Now you've got your new book coming out, Mindset is Everything. What can people expect to find in the pages of this new book coming out? So what you expect to find, it's a very thought-provoking book. I go very deep into a lot of different theories. Nothing controversial too much, but I try to get out of the unconventional thought process. Essentially, what you're going to find in that book is that I live by a metaphor that luck is an illusion. Luck isn't real. A lot of the time, you're going to find these success stories. We get showing these little news clip reels of people's successes when if you go behind the blinders, what you'll find is that they had to go through the same story. That You just fill in the blanks. A lot of it's adversity. Then you know they got rejected a thousand times, and then... They never gave up. They persevered and they came through to that. So I, I've studied it for over five years within personal development, and that, that's what you're going to find. A lot of uh, unconventional thinking, uh, a little bit controversial, but in a good way that it'll get you thinking, right? So, so when we see people and we think, boy, they must be, they must live a charmed life, or, or they're, they're very lucky to be in whatever that position is, it, you're, you're contending that it's not luck at all. It's, it's pushing through adversary, adversity that got them there. Absolutely. I right. mean, there, there's a probability, I guess, some, some people, right, will get put into situations and they, they, I guess you could say they got lucky, quote unquote. Um, but a lot of the time, yeah, if you start digging behind a lot of their stories, you're going to see, wow, this person had a tough go. And like take, for instance, someone like Kevin Hart, like we never seen him for, for a while, but he's been around forever. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, only recently that he's like this big A-list celebrity, like really making it big. Um, and, and it's stuff like that that you'll start to see like, wow, OK, so he probably did, you know, thousands of auditions to finally get that right. one break. And a lot of people just give up because they said, you know, I've already gotten shut down so many times. That's it. Right. 
And this is where your book will come in and help you kind of change that way of thinking. Exactly. Okay. It's more so practical than anything. I try to I try to aim it in so that, you know, I back you into a corner and you're thinking, you're like, okay, yeah, I can do that. You know, you're like, yeah. okay, I can do that. You yeah, know? exactly. Okay, so, so if people want more information on how to buy this book when it comes out, more information on you as a speaker, as an author, everything else, where do they go? So go to connorlarock.com. Um, that's, that's my main thing. I have uh, all my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, there's a number of different uh, websites and things you can contact me, and I have my email also on my website, my phone number. Uh, but but the website's the primary. That's where you can buy the book. It's global. It'll be on Amazon and everything. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming in. You're an inspiration. Thanks for oh, thanks thank, for spending th- some time with us. Thank you guys very much. Honestly, it's great being here.